Let's talk about a really good remedy for tartar. Now, what is tartar? Tartar is dental plaque. What we're really talking about is something called biofilms, okay? And biofilms are a combination of these calcium houses that house bacteria. It's one of their survival mechanisms. What they do is they hide underneath this calcium little dome, and that way they go undetected from your immune system as well as from antibiotics. In fact, 95% of bacteria in nature live in biofilms. If you even take a look at a, like a little rock in a little stream, and if you actually pick that rock up, you'll notice it's a little bit slimy and slippery. That's biofilms. So biofilms are all over the place. It's some survival mechanism that's been going on a very, very long time. So anytime you have water, as in saliva, um, you're going to have biofilms. And if there's an overabundance of biofilms, you're going to get bad breath. You'll have uh, issues with inflammation, receding gums. And of course, many people get to the point where it's too much and they're going to have to go to the dentist and have it extracted. But what I want to talk about is if you are continually getting too much tartar in your teeth, um, I'm going to show you what to do to prevent it or manage it a lot better. Now, a couple of things I want to mention, xylitol, the sugar alcohol, as in the xylitol gum, and the xylitol sweeteners have antibiofilm properties. They help suppress adhesions to your teeth. So if you're going to chew gum, make sure it's xylitol. And there's also uh, natural things that are antibiofilm, okay? Natural herbs. You have rosemary, you have clove, thyme, oregano oil, garlic, curcumin, which is in turmeric, cinnamon, and another compound called NAC. All of those can help reduce biofilms. However, the remedy that I want to talk about really has just three simple ingredients, okay? And I'm going to tell you why uh, you should use this. The number one ingredient is baking soda. Now, why baking soda? Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, okay? So one thing about biofilms, especially the ones that overgrow around your teeth as um, tartar, can start producing too many acids. And when the pH gets to the point where it's like 3.5 to 5.5, then the body starts leaching calcium out of your bones. It's called decalcification. And so it's very, very important to make sure your pH in your mouth does not get that acid. You want it neutral or maybe slightly acid, but not too much. And the real main thing that um, produces too much acid is what I talked about in another video. It's the sugar. It's your diet. If you're consuming too much sugar or you're a diabetic, you're basically feeding the exact food that these bacteria love, as well as the yeast, because there's also a type of yeast called candida in biofilms as well. And as they eat all this sugar, they produce the byproduct of lactic acid. And now the pH starts to decrease and the environment starts to become ideal for extracting calcium from the teeth. So you're getting cavities and then, of course, the microbes are using the calcium for housing. So using baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, is a great way to increase the pH, to make things a little bit more alkaline, to help buffer that pH. So the acid isn't there anymore to leach out calcium. Also, baking soda can help to break down these biofilms. And the other thing that's very interesting about sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, is that this is what your saliva makes to buffer these acids. So you're just taking something that your body is already making. So therefore it has virtually no side effects. So you'd want to mix one fourth of a teaspoon in a half of a cup of water, okay? Then you're gonna add one more thing and that is called hydrogen peroxide. Now you'd wanna make sure you get the 3% hydrogen peroxide and you can get it from the drugstore. But hydrogen peroxide is a really good um, compound to help inhibit biofilms from developing, as well as killing off bacteria, yeast, candida, all these microbes. And another very interesting thing about hydrogen peroxide is guess what? Your body makes it. It's in your saliva. Hydrogen peroxide is a major uh, compound that your cells use to kill microbes. So we're just going to give your body what it naturally produces, but it just in higher quantities. So you use a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda and a fourth of a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, 
3%. Mix that in a half a cup of water and then use your toothbrush to brush your teeth after you brush your teeth with toothpaste. What this will do, it'll help prevent the biofilms from continuing to come back and that way your teeth will be nice and smooth. Now, one last thing. There is some interesting research. It's a little bit mixed, but there seems to be a positive correlation between vitamin K2 and inhibiting this dental plaque. So some people who actually start taking vitamin K2 that normally comes with vitamin D3 start to noticing that the inside of their teeth are becoming smoother and smoother. So that's another little thing that you can, you can try. But in general, vitamin K2 is all about transporting calcium into the bone and out of the soft tissues. But anyway, I wanted to give you a really good simple remedy to prevent uh, tartar from building up in your teeth. And I think another good video for you to watch is more information on vitamin K2. Check it out. I put it right here.